Rosa's long cherished dream was to open a school in the center of Christianity. In the year 1707, it seemed that the proper occasion had come when Lucia Filippini, forced to leave her school in Rome, had called her mother and teacher to substitute for her. Rosa felt very gratified in it, but the great city had given her a deceiving welcome. After only three months, Rosa returned to Viterbo, saddened and defeated by a series of unpleasant circumstances. The experience left a negative furrow, especially in the mind of the authorities, and years passed before the memory of that defeat was erased. Rosa did not renounce her plan of opening an educative center in the Eternal City and she continued to nourish her dream in prayer, in patient waiting and searching. She lived through years of denials and loneliness. But in the splendid autumn of 1714, Rosa, Lucia, Margaret, Virginia and Clara arrived in Rome to open a new school at the foot of the Capitoline Hill in the parish of San Venancio. It was the 8th of December. In a flowery May of long ago, the first movement of salvation had been born in Viterbo. In Rome, in the mystery of the Immaculate Mary, salvation was taking on universal dimensions.